So Brian okay. Vollmer on the phone with me from Helix. You're going to be playing Chester Dooley's November 21st. What can the, the audience expect from the show? Is there going to be uh, new members? Well, it's the original lineup from the 80s, which uh, I think people would really like to see. Um, the original lineup of uh, myself, Brent Derner, uh, Fritz Heinz, and uh, Daryl Gray. And then we have uh, newcomer uh, D- uh, um, Caleb Duck on a rhythm guitar okay. and lead. So we're going to be hearing a lot of classics and um, also the new Vagabond Bones That's album. correct. And basically when you come and see Helix, um, just let me to see, uh, you know, over 100 years of uh, showmanship, musicianship. 100 years of showmanship. Only Helix can bring you that with all the best of the best. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. You guys are great. And uh, your new album, I took a listen to it. It's uh, fabulous. The, the riffs are right there, right in your face. Your voice is sounding great. Great, lo- thank you. How long did it take you to get the idea to make this album come out? The act, the album came about very quickly. We started in April and we uh, finished it in September. Wrote all the songs, everything. So, what's your favorite off the album right now, Vagabond Bones, the the title track? Uh, my favorite song, I think, off the album would have to be um, uh, "When the Bitters Got the Better of You." I've heard the tracks on your website, PlanetHelix.com. Uh-huh. Uh, um, really good, good stuff. Let's go back. Well, to thank the- you. Let's go back to the past for a second. I read your book, Give Me an R. Yes. What I find interesting in this book, you got uh, a picture of Vinnie Vincent of Kiss with uh, Brenton Paul. What's, yes. What's the story behind that? Like, and which picture was it? Vinnie Vincent of Kiss, the guitar player of Kiss of the 1983. And, it, and he's posing uh, well, with all know, the guitars. Uh, Vinny probably had his... I think the one you're talking about, uh, Vinny's got his guitar set out in the room and uh, they're all looking at the guitars. That was when we were touring with Kiss in uh, Europe in 1983 in the Lick It Up tour. How was Vinny Vincent as a person? He was great. I got along with him uh, fine. I met his wife when uh, we were in L.A. Because we his don't wife hear... was later murdered, I think. Yes, she was, actually. And there's not much... Uh news on Vinnie Vincent these days, you don't probably know where he is now. No, where is he? Nashville writing country songs, I guess, secretly. That's oh, the he? last yeah. I've heard. Uh-huh. And how was Gene Simmons as a person in those days? Pure business? Uh, well, you know, I saw Gene every day. You don't really get to know those guys on a real personal level, you know? Seen on your website, Mike Uzlak, the bassist, you're, you're saying that he's uh, disappeared off the face of the earth? Well, he did disappear for many, many years, and then he resurfaced, um, uh, I think it was last year. Um, And I guess he was uh, down in Texas somewhere, and uh, he lost his passport, and he had to contact uh, my ex-manager. And uh, when I heard, I contacted his brother, and I set them up uh, meeting each other, and then he ended up coming back to Canada. So Everybody thought he was dead. So he's all good now. He's all good now. So he's stuck in uh, Texas, you say, for a long time? Well, he went away. I don't know exactly know why he went down there. You'd have to ask him. But um, yeah, he was, went down to Texas for quite a few years. So, Brian, you're a vocal teacher also. That's correct. I just finished teaching, actually. How long, How many years have you been teaching uh, people to, to I've sing? been teaching since about 1987. And when you're on, on tour, it's hard to teach. So you basically teach when you're well you know I, I teach uh, uh first off mondays and wednesdays so most of the times i play it's on the weekend so even like uh next week when i'm out in the east coast right i, I teach monday and then i miss tuesday and wednesday but my my students understand because a lot of them are musicians themselves and going to the album vagabond bones your artwork on it who decided to make that different type of artwork for helix with the gray that was uh color? matt from uh, baby joan uh baby Baby Jack design, I think. And everybody's really pleased with the album cover, I take it. It's uh, originality. It's totally different. Oh, I thought the artwork looked awesome. So is any new DVD coming out in the near future? You've been in the no, trends of making DVDs. I don't think DVDs. so. I think like, it, we had uh, people suggest to us that we should do it a, a DVD, but I think uh, next year I'm just going to focus on uh, working this album. Making the next album? Well, we'll probably start writing this year, but I'm going to work uh, this album, take a little bit of a breather. It's been pretty hectic the last couple of years. We've been pounding out albums once a, one a year yeah. for, I think, four years in a row now. How do you compare this album, Vagabond Bones, compared to any Helix album? What's different to it? 
Well, every album's different for me. Um, you know, just the fact that I was writing with Sean Kelly, I've never written with Sean before, so that makes a difference. But um, I think this is the best album I've ever had a, you know, a hand in doing. Uh, very proud of the writing uh, that we did in some of the songs, lyrically, uh, just structurally uh, on the tracks. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you again, and um, we'll see you November 21st. Dooley's Chester, where you're going to be ripping it and give me an R and all that stuff is going to be going on there, I'm sure. A lot of people will be looking forward to Brian Vollmer and the Helix. Okay, I'll see you then, Jason.